Hi everybody, I'm Zilla Blitz and welcome. Some of you may know me from driving trucks around YouTube for a couple of years now, but I thought the other day, I just kind of thinking about things and I had a reflection, maybe it'd be nice to take a break from driving all over the place. I mean, down in Mexico and everything like that. Maybe it would be nice to just stay in one place for a while and work the earth. So with that in mind, I thought maybe we'd try our hand at farming for a little bit. And so I picked up a map of the United States and I threw a random dart at it and it landed on this place here called Griffin, Indiana. So we're just gonna spend a year farming with our million and a half dollars in this place called Griffin, Indiana and see how it goes. Now this is a quaint little town. It's just to the east of the Illinois, Indiana border, halfway between Louisville and St. Louis. But get this, I was talking to this guy on the bus here and he said that there used to be rumors of Sasquatch in this town. Like so many people said they saw him and apparently he used to steal gold coins from the people and little trinkets and he scattered them all about the town. Maybe as many as a hundred gold coins scattered about. And look at this right here. Check it out. Wanted alive $5,000 reward for finding Sasquatch. So what's with that? Anyway, so that's a little mini adventure here in addition to our farming here. Looks like Uncle Pete's excellent diner is over here. So I think what I'm going to do is I, I'm figuring out this is an agricultural town. I mean, bus right in here. Look at fields over there, wind turbines and everything like that. This is the agricultural kind of heart of the United States. So there's got to be a place that sells tractors and stuff like that. So I'm going to go in the diner here and I'm going to ask maybe Uncle Pete. Oh, check it out. Look at this gold coin. Can we pick it up here? Cheeseburger in paradise. We found our first gold coin. Most excellent. I think they're worth some money too. Anyway, I'm going to jump inside here. I'm going to ask Uncle Pete where the local kind of uh, farm vehicles store is. And then we're going to run over there. I'm going to get a tractor because we're going to need a tractor, right? So I'm going to buy a tractor. Now I have no idea what I'm doing. So I'm going to need your help with a lot of things like picking out equipment and stuff like that. We'll get a tractor. We're going to drive around the town just to kind of take a look at the lay of the land. And then I want to find some spots and I want to see if you could help me figure out where we should pick our starting location to build our first farm. So I'll go talk to Uncle Pete and then I'll, uh, I'll see you at the store here. So Uncle Pete said there's a vehicle shop right down here. And I thought maybe we can just run down the town here and kind of take a look at things here. So a little bowling alley there, a little toy store over there. Maybe they have some board games. That would be kind of cool. And then uh, what's this place here? A little bank. We're, we're putting some of our money in there. I probably should open an account because I got a million and a half dollars in my pocket. But I think the vehicle store, I don't know if I should be cutting through these people's yards and stuff like that, but it's, uh, I think it's over here somewhere. There's a grain silo. It's got to be around here somewhere. Maybe this is it. Is this the vehicle store here? I'm not sure, but I'll find it. Here, this looks pretty promising. Cleveland Motors. Yeah, this looks pretty good. I think we're here. So the store has this display where you can look through all the tractors and stuff like that. And I've been kind of poking around. I'm checking this one out right here. This one looks pretty cool. It's a Deutz Far. I probably said that wrong. 247 horsepowers. I figure that's pretty good. And I, I'm gonna try to get to go 60 miles, 60 kilometers per hour. That seems pretty good. $221,000, but we got a lot of money. I'm gonna kind of tweak this out a little bit here and then probably get this one. Here. All right, so I, I changed the tires out. I put some wired tires on it and I added a front loader. I don't really know what a front loader does, but I figure it sounds like it might be handy. I figure this is a pretty looking, pretty cool looking tractor here. $225,000. You can fetch your purchase at the shop. Yep, we know that. So let's just go get this now. I think we just, we're in it. Oh, that was quick. Nice. All right, here we go. So let's, uh, let's drive around town here and check it out. That's a silo thing. I know that. I, now, I will confess, I, I kind of have been playing this little game called Farm Simulator something something. Can we drive over it? Oops, maybe that wasn't the right thing to do there. Sorry, Motor Shop. Apparently those are real things. I thought maybe they weren't. Now that looks like a drop-off spot. So there is this game called Farming Simulator 22, and I've been playing it for like 10 hours. So I'm not like completely new at farming, but I'm not used to real farming like this year. But uh, so this is gonna be a whole new experience. Let's pull up the map here and see where we should go. I figure we should check this north area here a little bit. And I think the train tracks lie just to our right here. So let's uh, watch out for traffic and stuff like that. And uh, let's get going. Now we can see this is very much a, a kind of quaint town here. Not very quiet. I'm not a very good driver yet either. Train tracks there. And I think we can drop stuff off over there to be picked up. Whoops, excuse me, sir. By the train when we grow stuff. There's a big church up here. 
Not too many people walking around. But I did want to show you one other cool thing about this map that, you know, it might be people might be saying, this is not a real place, this isn't a real thing, you're just playing a game. But check this out. Here's it on Google Maps, if you don't believe me. So this is Griffin, Indiana on Google Maps. This is a real place and I'm a real person doing a real thing. And if you look at it, it's the same exact shape as what we have right in front of us. And if we actually chuck, chuck our little person down here, now I'm gonna throw him down right, an interesting fact about this town, this is, where is it right here? Tornado Street, check it out. So about a hundred years ago in 1925, this town was destroyed by a tornado. And this is called Tornado Street, just this alley right here. I'm assuming this is the path the tornado took and just wiped everything out. So people have been rebuilding it. But if we go down here, we can see this is a very small town in the middle of the heartland. People work in the earth to make money. And it's very much, very much indeed, exactly like where we are right here, right now. So this is the same kind of thing. I mean, the similarity is uncanny here. So yeah, this is a real place and we're doing a real thing. And here's the town. And I want to drive over here because I, I have kind of a possible, there's a fire department and stuff like that. That's, uh, I think that's a school and that's obviously a church. And I don't think we can buy the church. I don't think that's for sale. But look, over here, you can see the lights to the right here. I have a dream. This is what our dream, this is what one of my dreams is. So we're just gonna go around here. Bear with me while I get there. And actually, I think this place off to the left might be one of the farms that I think, from them that I think we can buy. But I'll, 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 I'll mention that in a moment here. But check this out. This is Redford Park. It's a home, excuse me, God, people drive fast. It's a home of the local baseball team. And the park, it's, it's for sale. Five million bucks and you can buy this. Excuse me, sir. And it's such a beautiful park. And I'm thinking, we can buy this. And you, are you with me here? Are you thinking with me? How cool would that outfield look if we replaced it with corn? Field of dreams, right? So we need $5 million. I don't know how long it'll take us to get there because again, as I mentioned, I'm not a very good farmer. Look at this, little bleachers and stuff like that. This seems pretty cheap for five million bucks. We can just dig up a portion of the outfield or outfield, plant corn, feel the dreams, here we come. So that might be our long-term goal here. But anyway, let's get back now. That's a little bit of look at the town and stuff like that. And that there's industries and everything like this. Now what I wanna do is I'm gonna drive out and I wanna show you, um, I'm gonna pick four spots in four different places that I think will be good for our starting farm. And then we're gonna put a vote up on the channel and people can vote for where they think we should build our first farm. And I really hope you're gonna help me because as I mentioned, I've been playing this game farming simulator for about 10 hours, but I'm not sure that really helped me for this kind of real life farming adventure here. Anyway, I'm out, uh, gonna look for our first place. I'll see you uh, as we get there or unless something in, oh look, yeah, oil wells out here too. Some of the farms have oil, kind of oil pumps on them right, there, right on the left there, that's pretty cool. But look at this, this is beautiful out here, isn't it? And uh, I'll see you as we get close to the first place here. All right, so we're here. Now this, keep this in mind, this is kind of one of the things to consider here. That's a spinnery right there. And so if we grow things, I think like cotton, we can sell them there. And apparently we can even start our own industries. I don't know if we're gonna have time in a year to do that, but if it's fun, we might go longer too. Now I've been looking, I found two farms out here I wanna show you. The other thing I kind of like about this area, now this, again, this is kind of out on the countryside. This is not in the town at all. I think down here is where we go. That right there is where we, a, a mill where we can sell things like wheat and I think barley and maybe um, canola or something like that too. But here, this right here is one field I think we could buy. And then check this out. I'm gonna show you this little copse of uh, woods here on the left is another field that I think we could buy. And it's, in well, another plot of land we could buy, but it includes this other big field here. So we could buy these two places. I'll show you on the map. Alrighty, so here's our town, the center of town, as we can see it down here, and way up here in the northeast corner, and that's what we call this, northeast corner farm, field 29 and 27 are at one of the places I'm looking at. Now, this is advantage because it has this milling place where we can sell, I think, almost everything we grow here, and then a spinnery if we grow cotton, so we're really close to the places where we can sell it. We'd be able to add on pretty easily, I think, to pick up field number 28, and right now, if we look here at these fields, We've got, what is this? This looks like barley, nope, oat, nope, not barley or oat. What is it, potatoes? Nope, not potatoes. Uh, sorghum, 
Oh, okay. So field number 29 over there is sorghum. And I think this is cotton. Nope, not cotton. What is that? Turn it off. Oh, nope, not oat. Barley. Nope, not barley. Hmm. Must have turned off potatoes. Oh, it's potatoes. So we got potatoes on one side, and then we got this uh, sorghum on the other side. I don't know where we'd sell the potatoes. But now the advantages to this, it's kind of out and it's kind of remote, away from the town for peace and quiet. I mean, it's just a beautiful location. That's, uh, you know, kind of, that's also, I think, a disadvantage in that we're away from the town. But I'm thinking we could build like a little house, like right here. Maybe chop some of these trees down and sell them for wood and stuff like that. But right here in the shade, or maybe even just pitch a tent for a while. And look at this field here. Just absolutely beautiful stuff. Pretty big fields with room to expand and stuff like that. So this is location number one. I'll call this the Northeast Farms on the votes and stuff like that. I'm gonna go off to another location and we'll take a look at that. Okay, so here we are at location number two. Now, one of the advantages of location number two is that it has a house already here. I mean, it's not the spiffiest place, but you know, it's just me. And uh, it, it's, I'm not quite sure why they pointed away from the road like that, but that works, you know? And we've got this kind of shed here where we could store some stuff and things like that. And the fields look pretty good. Let's get out and take a look here. So we've got a couple trees and stuff like that, but this is a pretty big field. Not quite sure what's growing here now. And let me show you the maps here because I think we can buy what's across the street as well. So our first one again was up here, 29 and 27. This one I think would be 20 and 21. And we'll take a look at the cost of some of these places, but I think we could buy these two places perhaps or maybe 20 and 22, and I'll call this uh, north of town. This will be location number two. So location number one, northeast of town, location number two, north of town. And I'm even thinking maybe we can carve this field 21 here. We could potentially carve that up into two crops. So we get like three different crops growing and stuff like that. And speaking of which, I've got, for people that know the game, I've got seasons on, which means that we have to pay attention to when we can plant stuff and when we're going to harvest stuff and we'll probably get one cycle of crops per year out here so that's location number two let's take a look at what we've got here for stuff is that canola it's not canola sunflowers what was that soybeans <gasps> soybeans on field number 20 right beside us and then this looks like is this more potatoes out here nope not potatoes these colors are a little bit tricky i bet sorghum so sorghum here and soybeans on the left for this one are they uh, at all ready to harvest or anything like that growth Ready to harvest? Nope. How about these out here? Nope, not ready to harvest. Okay, um, they're just growing, growing pretty well. This one looks like it might need some, some problems here. Has it got weeds and stuff like that? We'll check this out later too. But um, other than that, looking pretty good. So, okay, I'm gonna go to location number three. I'll be right back. So here we are at uh, location number three. Now this is a little bit of an urban renewal project here, but um, check this out. So. This field right here is all grass, but I think, and it's a really cheap plot of land right here, and I think we could buy this, but this is the place that kind of piqued my interest, picked my interest, piqued my interest a little bit here. Get this old farm building here. I think we'd probably have to tear this down, and then there's an old shed out here, and now this is not cultivated for farmland, so we would have to get this ready to plant stuff. So this would be kind of a reclamation project, probably to tear that those woods down. I'd be inclined to kind of like put a little building, a place to live, maybe a tent or something like that over here, or maybe even use this as farmland and then come over here and build a little farmhouse right here, maybe a hus and then a farmhouse or something like that, put some chickens and, and some sheep in there. And I think we would have just enough money as well to come over here and buy this plot of land too, this massive field. And again, we'd probably cut this up into three crops, but let me show you kind of how big this one is. This is pretty, pretty large here. It's not far away. So this would be kind of, we'll call this location number three. We'll call this urban renewal. Now plot 12 over here, this is growing something. I'm not sure what it is. Another color, I don't know. Sugar beets. Wow, a massive field of sugar beets. Is it ready to harvest by any chance? Ready to harvest? No, it's just growing. It seems like it's got a long way to go. So not much we'd probably have to do for that one. Just make sure it, you know, it stays up and keeps, well, I have no idea what I'm doing. It probably takes a lot of stuff like weeding and all that kind of stuff and herbicide and who knows, fertilizer and everything like that. But all that sorts of stuff. We wouldn't have to plant anything there. So while that's kind of growing, 
we could work on this plot of land here and that these two plots here, smaller ones, build our house, build a farm and stuff like that and get those things ready. So that's location number three. I'm gonna show you one more location. So we're back to the diner where we started out and location number three here is to the south of town. There's the Sasquatch sign. It's right over here. Now this is particularly tempting. It comes with an American flag, which is kind of cool here and a mailbox. And look at that, look at this. We get a house right here. We get a thing, I don't know what it does beside the house there to the right of it. I know what the left thing is. That's a barn, of course, silly. But we get a little house. I'm not super enamored with that house. It's kind of oddly vertical there. But anyway, let's take a look around here. So we walk around, get this big shed to hold all of our stuff and things like that. And a barn over here. And I think we can put stuff in the barn. We get a bathtub. No, wait a second. Is there no way in? Can we not get in this barn? We got to be able to get in the barn, right? Does, these, does this open up? Maybe we have to own it. Is this like you can't use this barn? It's not functional? That's weird. Well, maybe if, you, if someone knows how this uh, Farming Simulator 22 works here, that... I, is this just for decoration then? That's totally bizarre. Or maybe you have to buy it and then the doors open up? I'm not really sure. But anyway, so it comes with this house and this barn that apparently isn't very functional for anything. Maybe we'd have to tear it down and build a functional barn? I'm not sure. But something to, to consider there. Uh, we get trees, some bushes, and then this field with crows. Check it out. Now this has got nothing on it. So we could literally, this is just a blank canvas that we can be Picasso farmer and create stuff. And if we look at this on the map here, this is location number four. We're way down here to the south of town. So we had pretty good access to all the selling places. I think, you know, those other three spots we talked, we're going to be close to anything in the central part of town where I think we can sell. And then the northern east one that we looked at first is kind of far away from town. So we'd have a long drive to get stuff down here. But field three here is not growing. It's not ready to harvest already. Remove foliage. Nope. Withered. But anyway, that's here. This is this massive spot of field three. Now, that's our, so this will call a uh, spot four. We'll call it south of town. So again, if you could help me out and pick which one you think we should do. We've got northeast, these kind of rural places. We've got 20 and 21, which is north of town. We've got the urban renewal with field 12 there. And then we've got south of town that comes with that little farmstead, but I'm not sure how functional that is. But anyway, let's take a look at some of the cost of these places too, for people that like the numbers. And then I think it's time to let you all kind of vote. So here we go. Field three cost $791,000. We have a million at, well, that would, that's actually pretty expensive. I'm not sure we have enough for that. It would leave us with what? 400,000, 400, about 500,000 after we're all done. We got a tractor though, so we have to buy a tractor. So we got about $500,000 to get all our stuff. Now, if we did the urban renewal one, plot 57 is only 46,000. But again, we'd have to get that field planting ready. That's 29,000. So that's like 75,000. This is 616,000. So roughly 700,000. So this urban renewal project would be about $100,000 cheaper than plot three and over here. Now, 20 and 21, these two together, 243,000, 384,000. It'd be about 600,000. That would leave us with about 700,000 to get all our stuff. So a little bit more of a modest investment in land. And if we had to go cheaper, we could go 20 and 22 instead, but 20 and 21. So that one's 600,000. Urban renewal is 700,000. Plot three is an expensive 800,000. Now up here, the ones we looked at, the first ones we looked at, 29 and 27, 286,000, 284,000. So that would be about 550,000. That's our cheapest option to date, that would leave us with about 750,000 to get all our equipment and get our stuff in the ground. Now let's take just a quick look at the fields here, the quality of the fields. So to kind of take a look at that, the, the Northeast fields, 29 and 27. 29 has sorghum in it and then it was sugar beet, no potatoes in the south part of it. Potatoes here on this. And if we look at kind of what needs to be done for these, uh, neither are ready to, ready to be harvested, they're growing. Uh, 29 needs to be fertilized, that one in the north there. They both need plowing after this season, after this harvest. None of them need lime and they don't have stones. So a little bit of work to do there on those two fields. Let's take a look at these here, 20 and 21. They uh, need lime, 20 needs lime, okay? They don't have stones in them. Need plowing, they both need plowing. Fertilized, 20 needs fertilized. So 20 needs some work, it needs fertilization, it's gonna need plowing after we harvest. 
and it needs lime after it harvests as well. Okay, 12 down here. Oh, and the, the growth there on 20 and 21 was uh, soybeans, right? On the left, and then the right was, wasn't that uh, sorghum? Yeah, the right is sorghum. So sorghum and soybeans there. Now, if we look at 12, what was that growing in 12 again? Cotton, sugar beet? Sugar beet in field number 12 here. That was that urban renewal project. And what does that need done to it? It needs, that's looking good on fertilization. It will need to be plowed after this harvest, I assume. Needs lime, needs rolling, no stones. Okay, so a couple of things. They all need some work, but that's probably what farming is all about, right? I mean, you have to do work. Let's take a look at field number three down here. So field number three, again, has nothing growing on it. That was the blank one. It is cultivated, so I think it's ready to go. Let's see what it needs here. Weeding, nope, doesn't need to be weed. It's fertilized weekly, I think. I think the dark blue is stronger. It needs to be plowed, it needs to be fertilized probably a little bit. It needs lime, it does not need lime. Rolling, mulched, or stone. So we'd have some work to do, but we'd be able to pl plant our, our own crops in there. So those are our four places. Northeast, place number one. Uh, north of town, place number two, fields 20 and 21, the urban renewal with field 12, and then the south of town, field three with those buildings and the farmhouses there. There is a look at the next year of work that lies in front of us. Please go vote on the channel and it'll be in the community page. I'll put a link to the community page in the description and for a first comment. Please go vote for which farm you think we should take to get started on our adventure. Now, I suppose... This is, you know, 800,000. We might be able to sell that for something. And we do have this big barn, which I suppose is helpful. And we have a place to live. Whereas the one to the northeast of town, we don't have any buildings there. We just we, we just own that the trees and stuff. So any buildings we would have to buy. So factors, I, I think many of you who know farming better than I do will have some good reasoning for why we should pick one over the other. And we'll probably also should name the tractor too, right? Because it's pretty cool. I like a tractor. It seems like a steal for 200 and something thousand dollars. Thanks for watching, everybody. Please go vote. We'll be back in a couple more days with our first adventures on the farm. We'll probably, wherever we are, we'll kind of get things sorted and buy a lot of equipment and then do some work in the fields. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.